<laughs> it's your old buddy Grant. Here we are. It is Tuesday, June the 6th. We're over at the Scarborough residence and we are finally making the last load out here with the uh, rental truck from Home Depot and Arnold. Shout out to them. They were on the ball and had the stuff, so we're not taking everything because we just don't have room. But I just want to kind of give you the grand tour of this place because we moved in here five years ago. This coming October, not quite five years, four years and some change. So anyway, here we are, right? We moved into this place. We expected it to be treated like it was a place that, you know, where it was. It's in the Abbey, which is a fairly, you know, it's a nice neighborhood. It's really nice. And uh, this house is just like, like Lynn said, this is probably the worst house in the whole of the Abbey. And so anyway, well, I'm thankful to God that we were allowed to have it for the time we did. I feel like uh, I made a mistake though in dealing with uh, the people that I did in doing it because, you know, the place is just, let me, I'm gonna show you some things here. This is, you know, I mean, this is not why we're, we're leaving now. We're leaving now because we haven't found a house to buy since we've been looking since last March. But that's a whole nother story. But anyway, uh, it became necessary for us to leave because um, when we pointed out that the, uh, that the, you know, there was some stuff around here that needed some serious addressing, uh, they sent a realtor down and said it was for sale. That was about seven months ago. And they've had like three people look at it. And now the guy that owns it wants to come down and take a look and live in it and fix it all up and make it a castle. Like it should be, it really should be. This is a cool house. I would have bought this house had my wife wanted to buy it, but she didn't want to buy it. And I can't blame her, you know what? We're getting old. This moving stuff is for the birds. So anyway, let's take a look at some of the things. We're standing right here on this where the fire pit is, which is like a cobblestone kind of block thing. Here, look here, take a look. See what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, I guess it's just got like some kind of a sand base and like the, uh, I guess the, the chipmunks or something have come and ate holes underneath it and it's fallen in right here this wall is about to fall over and i uh i was always worried about the grandkids playing around this thing look at that that's gotten progressively worse uh since we lived here um let's see yeah we did a lot of the landscaping and took care of that stuff but we really haven't kept up on it since we knew we were moving and they were selling uh and this is a whole other area here these steps these steps are just like a total disaster, totally unsafe. They actually, there's probably no way that they should have rented us this house. It would have never, this should have never passed inspection. But these steps are absolutely horrible. Look at this. Bob Cahoon built this house. I guess I shouldn't drop names, but I just did. So anyway, and this house is, and I think he did a lot of the work himself. It's not a very nice place for that, but it's, it has a lot of potential. So when you see, this all needs paint down here. This was falling in. I had to have them replace that, and they didn't, you know, this is when the beginning of the end was. The woodpeckers have gotten that. This whole thing is just totally jacked up. We had to have it power washed because they let the mold grow, and the guy they had come out and do the power washing, his job didn't last very long. The mold's already starting to grow back on it. Anyway, let's just walk around this side of the house. How about that? We'll just keep going. So all that back there, that was really a mess when I moved in here. I paid a guy 800 bucks to clean all that stuff up. I mean, it looks good now compared to what it did look like. But I haven't kept up on it, like I said. So this is the, this is the, this is the stuff that I'm telling you about right here. This is what we had to call them and say, hey, look, you know, the gutters are too small is what the problem is. And so... You get that and that just, you know, the rain doesn't have any place to go, but there, underneath there, they refuse to, to fix it. So, we just decided we're just going to move, which we've been trying to do for many, many months now. Many, many, many months. Many, many, many months. All right. And so, we'll take a look around here. See this right here. This is up close and personal. See that? All that stuff. 
we never did turn the uh we never did even have the gas hooked up so this has been like this ever since we moved in here and you know they never came down here once not one time in the four plus years we've been down here have they come down here to do any kind of maintenance to look at the place to do anything they've never done any of it can you believe that how would you like to have a three hundred twenty nine thousand dollar house and not even really care about it i don't know that i would be able to do it but somehow or the other they do it so let's go look at some more of this jewel then we got this here this is the same situation i pointed this out to them when they did the roof which we had the uh the blue tarps we had the blue tarps on the roof for three months i like freaked out every time i came came home i was hoping i'd come home one day and see them blue tarps going off the roof but every day I came in, the blue tarps were still there. Hi, honey. So let's go look inside real fast. We're going to take a run inside. Because Lynn did a fantastic job cleaning this place up. She really did. Here we go. Laundry. I mean, I'll tell you something. When we moved in here, they were still trying to fix all this stuff. Here, let me show you. The painters never did finish that. That was unfinished when we moved in. Uh, this ceiling was kind of jacked up. I left the light bulb out when it didn't, when it burnt out. This, this is, we don't know what this is. This is from the tub maybe. Or maybe from the shower. We're not sure. We, we kept putting kills on it. They never did fix it. They were supposed to. They didn't. Uh, you know, one thing I didn't show you is outside here where the ants or something have eaten away at like, there's something eating away. It's just crazy. Door needs to be painted. It's crazy. Just crazy. Oops. I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm gonna kind of miss living in the Abbey. I like the Abbey. I like living in the Abbey. I don't know what this is, but it can go. So, anyway. Not really too much else to show you except for downstairs. I'm gonna show you two things, actually three things, real fast. Then we gotta go, we gotta get that truck back. Okay, in here, this area right here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's back up some. Turn some light on it. There we go. What the heck? Ah, oh, there we go. I had it all jacked up. Okay, that is a 50 gallon hot water heater where there should be an 80 gallon hot water heater. The hot water heater went out. We had to deal with it for like three or four days it's being jacked up. And uh, so anyway, <laughs> hey, what? you can have that. <laughs> anyway, um, so we, they finally came out and did it and they were, Dana tried to tell me it was gonna cost them two grand to put a, you know, put the 80 gallon hot water heater back in here. They didn't do it, and it didn't do it, and that was a lie, because I called them. I could have had it done for a whole lot less than that, probably less than $1,000. But anyway, it's okay. It's her house, right? Okay, this is one area. The uh, frost-free thing broke on the outside, so they came down to fix it, cut a hole in the drywall. Never did fix it. We had a little other issue similar to that over here. They came down, to, uh, you know, fixed it, cut holes in the wall. Never did fix it. Lynn had them covered up. And they look okay because they were kind of the same color. Same thing in here. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that nice work. And how about up there? Same thing, all from the same incident. So upstairs, really, the tub, the, you know, we never could use the tub. The jets never worked in the tub. So anyway, these steps, I'm not going to miss them. Anyway, so that's it. Old buddy Grant signing out. Peace out.